In this tutorial we're going to learn how to uh, simplify uh, the making changes to our navigation using what's called a PHP include function. So say we have four pages on our website and we want to change the products page to a videos page. We'd have to change that on the navigation for every single page. But with the PHP include function all we'd have to do is store our navigation on an external page and put our PHP function in in place of it and that means then that we only have to change our navigation in an, in the external page and it would change throughout the entire site so in order to do that the first thing we need to do is we need to go and we need to create a new folder inside our root folder so by doing to do that you right click on your root folder and create a new folder and we call this one uh, underscore includes so the next thing we need to do is we need to get our navigation and we can copy it for the time being we copy it we won't actually cut it so we go and we create a new document so file a new document it must be a PHP document and it doesn't make any difference whether it's what type of HTML it is because we're going to be deleting all our content from it so we create it and go to code view and delete everything and paste our navigation into it. So then we file and save as and we'll save it in our under underscore includes folder. So we change it to nav.php. We save that. So we can close out of it now and we'll go back to our index.php and what we need to do is we need to copy in copy or paste in a piece of short snippet of code in place of our navigation. So we we'll go ahead and do that now. So this is the short piece of code that we need. And what it is, is it's PHP function that's calling. So we have our opening PHP tag. Then we have the include function. And then we have inside of our single quotes here the file that we're going to include, uh, which is nav.php. But what we have to put in here is we have to put in our, our root folder, or the location to the root folder. So it's in the underscore includes folder, and it's a uh, file called nav.php. So if we save that and if we put both the includes folder and the index.php to the browser or to the server and we go back here and we refresh our page nothing has changed. But if we go back to Dreamweaver here and we say our navigation is no longer there so we want to edit it we can go to our nav.php we change our products to videos save it upload it and if we refresh our products page has changed to videos and that would be done for every single page on our website now we only have one page at the moment but if we had four pages all we'd have to do is make one change and, would it, would, and it would be applied to the navigation on all of our pages.